In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome everyone to this Mass here at St. Dennis as we celebrate on this Saturday in the fifth week of Lent. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's first acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race, and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever. They and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord were God as a shepherd guards his flock. Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us 
as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, what are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before, the pas before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? the Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the Jewish religious leaders met to decide what to do about Jesus. He had performed many signs and miracles, including raising Lazarus from the dead. And consequently, many Jews began to believe in him. The religious leaders were concerned that if Jesus became too popular with the Jewish people, the Roman occupiers of Israel would step in to crush this popular movement and thus would destroy the land of Israel and its people. Therefore, the high priest, Caiaphas, 
prophetically said to the other Jewish leaders, it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people so that the whole nation may not perish. <clears throat> and in order to prevent Israel from being destroyed by the Romans, the religious leaders began to plan to kill Jesus. And eventually they succeeded in having him put to death. Thus, as suggested by Caiaphas, Jesus died for the nation of Israel. But as the gospel author indicates, Jesus died not only for Israel, but also to gather into one all of the dispersed children of God, which would include the Gentiles. In this way, Jesus became a sacrificial offering to save all people. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday, when we will recall Jesus' passion and death on the cross. And when we listen to tomorrow's extended gospel, we need to remember that Jesus was a sacrificial offering who died to save all people, the Jewish people, the Gentiles, as well as you and me. We now bring our prayers to the Lord who safeguards us. <clears throat> For the church, may the Lord bless her with an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of nations, may God envelop them in his care and allow peace to flourish throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. For all who struggle endlessly to find healing, may God have compassion on them and give them strength in their ordeal. We pray to the Lord. For those in this assembly preparing to receive the sacraments of initiation, May the grace of the Holy Spirit fill their lives with abundant blessings. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For all who have died, may they come to enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. We pray to the Lord. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the special intentions of Jackie Madrigal, Rodolfo and Melanie Aquino, Marilyn Corpus, Margaret Silva, and Richard Zubiate, and for the repose of the souls of Kayla Kuzam and Jeanette Rodriguez Adams. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for all of those who need our prayers and for all of the prayer intentions that are listed in the comments sections of YouTube and Facebook for this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Merciful God, please hear and answer our prayers in the grace of your divine providence. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For everyone who is celebrating Mass with us from home, let's pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For Holy Communion, if you would like to receive the body of Christ or a blessing, please come down the aisle in the communion procession in the usual way. If you would like to receive both the body and blood of Christ on your tongue, please come to the center aisle to the intinction minister.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. After the Mass, Father Dennis and I will hear confessions. Father Dennis will be in a pew near the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and I will be in my confessional in the vestibule on this side of the church. Also after the Mass, some people will gather in the chapel to pray the rosary, and you're invited to join them if you can. Later today, we have confessions again from 4 to 5 p.m. Then at 5.30 p.m., we have our vigil mass for Palm Sunday. And then from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the hall tonight, we have a Passover Seder dinner, the same kind of dinner that Jesus celebrated at the Last Supper. You're invited to join us if you can. We're going to use the traditional Jewish prayers, songs, and scripture readings, as well as use traditional Jewish food, as well as just regular, a regular meal of roasted chicken, roasted vegetables, uh, a sherbet for dessert, and drinks. You can, have, you can join us. It just costs $5 to cover the expenses, and you can get some tickets at the door this evening. So 6.30, 8.30 p.m. in the hall for the Passover Seder dinner. Tomorrow, of course, as I mentioned, is Palm Sunday. We have our usual Sunday Mass schedule, and of course, palms will be distributed at all of these Masses. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 